Okay, now it's been said you cannot do an exhaust port on a bench. I mean, I've always had pretty good luck, but I don't I don't just do the flows. I also go by all the air speeds inside the port and it seems to increase my flows. Well, this is going to be kind of interesting and and it's it's so strange that I had to do it twice and think about it, okay? So this is on Mission Impossible head. I had to turn it around on the bench. I had to grind I had to grind the bore adapter. I had to grind this to even get it close. It's not perfect. I wound up having a gasket made of clay because I don't have any exhaust gaskets that would seal it. I don't have any exhaust gaskets for Chrysler's anyway. I'm sure Rob would, would give me a couple, but they would be ruined. And then we do the same thing with the set of headers that Rob brought over. And you will not believe the way it worked out. I mean, even I don't believe it. And... I'm just going to I'm just going to flip this on. We're at maximum lift right now. Let's just flip this on and see if you guys can see. Okay, guys, sorry about that. About 165. Now, through an exhaust manifold, I don't think that's bad, really. You know, but it, remember, it doesn't it doesn't have any pipe or anything on it, right? And it's very, very short run, right? So, this is also one of the trapezoid ports, which doesn't really flow as good as our outside rectangular ports. But, from what I can see on the bench... Now, remember, the bench is only 28 inches of mercury, which is about 1 PSI, of course, exhaust flow is more like 120 inches or pro probably more than that, come to think of it. Because DV says it can draw 120 inches on overlap. So that means the pulse in the exhaust has to be more than that. Just thinking out loud, you guys, if you guys know exactly what the exhaust pulse is, obviously... The better it's designed, I would think, the faster uh, and stronger the pulse would be, right? Okay. I'm going to see if I can pause you guys and throw the header on and just show you. Almost there, guys. It really... It's, it's so tight that I had to take parts off the bench to even make it fit. You would think you could flip them around upside down or something, but they don't because the tubes... The tubes wind up hitting this mess over here. So, okay, guys, I was able to get you hooked up. Pause. The gasket is still thick clay, and uh, I made sure it's not blocking the port, just like I did with the other one. Let me turn off the light this time and see what we got. Hard to believe, right? I know, I did it twice. Okay, so what is that telling us? Well, remember, we only have one PSI pressure, right? It's nothing like an engine. I think it was Eric Weingartner that said you can't, cannot, you cannot design an exhaust port on a bench. Now, you get something like this where these are, these are good-sized tubes. Let's measure these tubes. 